Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today we are doing a clothing haul and try on. I did one recently and I got such good feedback from it. I bought a lot of things recently and I thought it'd be fun to hop in here and do another clothing haul. I actually made a couple of piles. Here we have like the sweats, sweatpants, hoodies situation. Here we have beiges, then we have tie-dyes. Aritzia. <laughs> Clearly, I stuck to a little bit of a theme. I'm actually going to New York in like three weeks, which I'm so excited for. Next week, Brian and I fly to Seattle. Here in LA, it's kind of warming up a little bit, but I'm going to places that are cold AF. Aritzia was having such a good sale on a lot of their like coats and warm, cozy things. So I wanted to stock up and also at the same time prepare for some of my trips. So if you guys want to see some of the things that I picked up, see me try them on. First, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is very important important especially if you guys love my content it's just a small way that you can support me I love to see my little family growing and you can also follow me on Instagram as well I'm much more active on there also make sure you hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button that lets you know every time I post a new video I have a new video every Tuesday and Thursday you don't want to miss out without further ado let's go ahead and get started today I just feel weirdly talkative I haven't done one of these like sit down clothing hauls in a while and I'm like in the best mood ever I was at a Costas event earlier today it was the little launch event for their new concealer, which I love. I just posted a little wear test and review on it, so I'll go ahead and link it up here if you missed it. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into the haul. So I picked up quite a few things. This Aritzia bag is literally half of the stuff that I got from Aritzia. I had to get two of the coats mailed to me and they came in like the most ridiculous Aritzia bag ever. I'll pop a picture of Charlie sitting next to the bag, but it just was such a ridiculous bag that I was like, I didn't even know they made Aritzia bags this big. Let's talk about some of the hoodies that I got. I recently have become very obsessed with Mad Happy and Mad Happy is a Los Angeles based kind of like sweatshirt athleisure brand all their stuff is a little bit higher end the materials just feel so much more nicer and luxe definitely kind of a designer feel i've just been looking for a high-end kind of logo hoodie that i could use for layering i have so many like good solid plain hoodies that i wanted something with kind of a logo that kind of made a little bit more of a statement so i picked up this hoodie recently from mad happy and i got it in a size medium because i wanted a little bit more of an oversized fit but it says usa and layered over top you can kind of see it says mad happy as well i've already worn this a couple times on my channel and you might have seen it on my Instagram stories but I am so obsessed with it after tax it was around $200 so I think the hoodie itself is around like 180 which is expensive I know it's expensive but I was looking for like Balenciaga Yeezy off-white hoodies I was looking for some type of like designer high-end hoodie and nothing just really felt as nice and everything was in like the $300 range so I figured this is a good medium it's a brand that I've become a really big fan of the material just feels so soft and plush and this hoodie actually has a little bit more of a boxy fit so when I put it on I can wear it with any type of pant if I want to do something lazy I can just throw on leggings underneath wear it to the airport if I wanted to take it up a notch throw over a long coat over top you guys know that's how I love to kind of style my outfits this was definitely a good pickup for me for Valentine's Day Brandon and I actually celebrated by doing kind of a night in and we ended up walking around Malibu and kind of made dinner at home which was super nice we saw the sunset I had tons of oysters and it was just like the best day ever Brandon actually surprised me with a little gift and a sweet little card got me another mad happy hoodie so this is a hoodie that I saw when I went into the store to buy my gray hoodie and I saw it and loved it and I was regretting not picking up this one instead of my gray one this one makes so much more of a statement it says mad happy and it's just like a really good beige color the hood kind of has like a really cute design kind of the same boxy fit but it doesn't have the hemming at the bottom like it's just kind of like a you know what i mean like it doesn't have like the normal hoodie cinching situation again it's the same fit that i really like he got in a size medium because i do want the oversized fit but it was so funny because the mad happy store is on melrose avenue brandon went out to go buy it when i was actually at an event he actually checked my location while he was on the way to the store he was kind of just thinking like i wonder where christina is and it showed my location was like right next 
next to where he was. So he looked outside of his car, literally looked around and saw me standing right in front of Earth Cafe. And he was like, he like ducked his head. He didn't want me to see him. At that same time, I happened to be meeting with Ginny for lunch and we were meeting at Earth before my event. I thought it was so funny that he drove by me and he wanted to keep that surprise so badly that he fought the urge to say hi to me when I was literally like right there. And I had no idea that we were like, right in the same area at the same time anyways funny story love this hoodie and i've already worn it a couple times and i feel like the color is so good i definitely will wear it a lot <sighs> i have a lot of things to talk about in this video already it's gonna be so long next this is actually really cool one of my good friends back in seattle actually launched his own brand and his brand hasn't officially launched yet so as soon as everything goes live i'll go ahead and leave the links down below in the description box or down below in like a pinned comment but his brand is called doberman he just makes like the dopest stuff and he sent over a t-shirt I believe this is a size medium or large, but it's just like a really cool Oversized logo t-shirt you guys know I'm so into the logo t-shirts and something like this is so easy if you want to layer over jeans biker shorts if you just wanted to throw it over sweats and lounge in it but my favorite thing is the logo i feel like it just gives me balenciaga kind of like badass designer vibes he also sent over a cute little crop tank top that says studios on it did i mention his um, brand name is doberman studios so this is just kind of like a part of the brand i think it's super cute easy to throw over anything and then he sent over two hoodies one for me one for brandon but i'm just gonna keep both of them one of these hoodies says doberman studios then you have his little logo right here but it's just like a really good oversized hoodie and it's just like a really high quality good knit and i just think it's a really dope hoodie i love the design of it and the back of it also says doberman studios so my friend that launched a brand his name is marcus and i just think he is such a dope human being being and such a good guy friend of mine he has the coolest style and has such a good eye for like design another thing he sent over is this hoodie and this is the same logo that is on the t-shirt super cool really oversized and again i just love the whole logo and the vibes i'm as you can see very much into like oversized hoodies all of that stuff is not yet available it's launching soon but as soon as it does launch i'll go ahead and update the links in the description box or leave it down below on the brand's website you can actually sign up for emails and as soon as the items launch you will be the first to know so that way you can get first dibs on the products because i have a feeling that this stuff is going to sell out and you get something that is really cool you're supporting a small business Next we have some beige goodies. I actually got these sweatpants a couple days ago and I am obsessed. These are from Nike. I think they are so cute. First of all, the beige color is just so on point and I feel like I can wear this with so many different things, especially if I wanted to wear it with like a little crop hoodie take it to the airport if I wanted to pair it with some chunky shoes I think it would be so cute I also love that it kind of has the stitching down the middle and it also is kind of ruched at the bottom which makes it nice if I wanted to wear it with chunky sneakers I think these are super cute they're really really comfy and I got them in a size extra small because they are super oversized so just keep that in mind next actually this shirt is from Aritzia so it technically belongs in the Aritzia pile so let me just Next, I have a little sweater from Revolve. I actually took a photo in this on my Instagram. I love the sweater. I think it is so pretty, but my favorite part is the little like puff balloon sleeves. I've been so into this trend. And the cool thing about this sweater is it actually has these little buttons down the front, but there's kind of a gap between it. So it's kind of a like more sexier top. With something like this, I would wear like pasties because any type of bra or bralette situation is going to show i think once you have the right bra underneath it is a really striking top the color is beautiful the sleeves are my favorite the next top that i have this one is also from revolve and i literally just got it in the mail today these two things were actually gifted to me from revolve and i think this shirt is so cute please ignore my pj pants but this is actually from lovers and friends and i think it is so fun and sexy i love a good like high neck long sleeve top but this one just is so different because it is ruched on the side i feel like you can layer with it you can wear it out also the color is super cute i'm actually not super impressed by the quality of the material because it kind of just reminds me of like cheapy t-shirt material but i think the ruching and the color of it is so cute and i think it's just like a good layering piece next we have a little stack of tie-dye things this hoodie is also from revolve i guess i just went crazy this month and this was also gifted from revolve i have been so into the whole my poor hydro flask i feel like i've been so into the whole tie-dye trend 
anywhere I go, I just see tie-dye everywhere and I am all for it. I feel like it's such a fun pattern that doesn't really go out of style, but it's not too loud or crazy either. It's so fun, you know, and this little hoodie is super cute. It's really cropped and I actually like that it has pockets because it's useful. It makes it look a little bit nicer than just like a little DIY cropped hoodie that you do yourself, you know what I mean? Another thing that I picked up is from Reformation and this is actually the first thing that I ever purchased from Reformation and of course, a sweatshirt. So this is actually a little crew neck situation and I think it is so cute. This was the only size that they had left in store and in like the whole company and I was so lucky because it's in a size small and it is still slightly oversized which I really like but the tie-dye is so cute and it's kind of like a pastel blue slash white situation and I love that it is like a crew neck zip because I feel like this you can dress up or dress down whereas a hoodie it's a little bit harder to kind of dress it up and make it a little more chic and stylish looking i don't have any type of crew neck zip situation so i think this is a unique piece the tie-dye is also really nice and the material also feels very nice for how much it was and i believe this was 80 or 90 dollars but reformation is a sustainable clothing brand so a lot of their pieces are actually sourced and made sustainably i was okay with paying a little bit more to kind of support that yeah. finally the last tie-dye piece that i picked up was from amazon and so amazon has this little thing that they do where they collab with influencers and it's called amazon the drop so it's kind of like a limited edition capsule line that they drop for like 30 hours and so they work with select influencers and these influencers can create their own like line and create a couple pieces in partnership with Amazon. Nothing is made until after the 30 hour period is closed and anything that is ordered within that time frame, that is how many pieces are made, which is really, really cool. So one of my girlfriends that's actually in the Sephora squad with me, her name is Ellen. Her username is at spread fashion. She did a little collection with Amazon the drop and she made this little tie-dye crew neck i think this is such a cute piece i was into the tie-dye and the balloon sleeves and i believe this was like 40 dollars which is so affordable the only thing is none of the pieces are available anymore because the time period has closed but i'll go ahead and see if i can find similar options and link them for you guys down below finally we are moving into my favorite category aritzia so first thing i got was this basic top and i got it for 20 dollars if you guys don't know Aritzia does like an annual sale, but it seems like this year they had it multiple times during the year. So I love going in to shop around this time of the year because it's just a great time to shop pieces at Aritzia because so many things are on such a deep discount. I got this t-shirt and I feel like it's such a good basic and it's just like a plain long sleeve top. It's ribbed. It's super soft and really, really comfortable. And it's from Wilfred Free. I got it for $20. It's just such a good price. Good for layering. I'm going to New York. So just a standard beanie. I just thought this one was so cute. And the color is really cute. Brandon makes fun of me for how I wear my beanies all the time because he says I don't wear them low enough, but I feel like, I feel like I look like an egghead. I don't know. I need to play around with this because I don't wear beanies that often because I feel like I don't look good in them, but if it's cold, I'll wear it, but for fashion, I don't know. Another thing that I picked up was a beige scarf from Aritzia. It's such a pretty color and it was $25. It originally was $78. I was gonna buy a scarf from them anyway, so I figured I might as well get one that is on sale and it will be really thick and warm, so good for New York. I got two coats from Aritzia and both of these were like $150 each, which is like so cheap, especially for like a coat at Aritzia, a wool coat in general. I feel like that is such a good price. Both of these coats are actually the same exact style. It's called the Wilfred Carlisle coat and I just think it is so cute. As soon as I saw it in store, I was like, oh my god, that coat. It's just super, super long, so I feel like it is such a striking piece. You guys know I love a good long coat to kind of top over any outfit. It has a really good collar. It's super long, and it has a little tie belt situation. The little tie will be really helpful on days when it's super cold, i.e. like when I'm walking around New York and it's freezing. It's easy for me to kind of wrap the coat up and tie it really tight. I actually have a coat that's very similar to this, but I feel like this one 
was even better. So I'm fully planning on selling some of the stuff that I have in my closet to kind of clear out some of the stuff. So if you guys want to, you can check out my Poshmark. I'll go ahead and link it down below, but I do normally post all of my pieces that I no longer wear. I'll sell on Poshmark for like a really good price, so be sure to check that out. I just feel like this is such a good coat. It'll keep me really warm. A good gray coat is just a good staple to have. You can style it so many different ways and it goes with so many different colors and shades and all of that. Next, I have the same exact coat in a different colorway and I feel like this colorway is so different and unique and it reminds me a lot of this Isabel Morant coat that I saw in store a couple weeks ago. Brandon recently got a coat from Isabel Morant and I was so jealous because it was like this gorgeous plaid color and I feel like this kind of gives me the same type of vibes. I just think it is so cute and it's such a big statement piece and it's kind of like a fuzzy wool situation so I feel like thrown over any basic outfit it will definitely take it up a level and just make you look so sophisticated expensive stylish so that is all the pieces that I picked up I love kind of doing these roundups and sharing with you all some of the pieces that I picked up trying them on on camera and I know you guys like to see those videos as well I was thinking of doing a like top 10 pieces from different stores I already have a video on like my favorite things from Aritzia so it'd be kind of similar to that where I would do like top 10 things at Everlane top 10 things at any other store that you guys want me to talk about let me know I also briefly talked about it in my last few videos but I'm trying to move into sustainable fashion and I'm trying to not shop at Zara, Forever 21, Topshop, Boohoo, any of those like fast fashion stores because I feel like those companies really are producing so much waste. I just want to do what I can to kind of reduce waste and you guys know I even switched from using like cotton rounds to reusable bamboo rounds that I've been using for a really long time. So I just feel like any effort that we can make to kind of make a positive impact is better than doing nothing at all. So I'm trying to move away from shopping at stores like that. Uniqlo is also technically fast fashion. So that really pains me because I was a really big fan of Uniqlo. From now on, I'm gonna be trying to shop at stores that are really sustainable and really honest about like their practices and where they source. All of their stuff so that is just something to kind of keep in mind if I do any type of like top 10 pieces from like a store or a brand it will only be from sustainable brands but as always in my lookbooks I'll go ahead and continue linking like all sorts of different price ranges I support whatever you guys choose to do and I'm not gonna force you to shop at these sustainable companies and brands because that's what I'm doing so anyways that is the end of that hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful entertaining all of that good stuff i hope you all had a good valentine's day that is the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye